All right, this is a video on the Schumacher 1500 watt inverter that converts DC to AC and it supplies 1500 watts. And what we've got here is a demonstration of the Schumacher 1500 power inverter. Here's the power inverter. It's connected to a battery. The battery here is a 45 amp battery. This unit right here, the 1500 watt, has two outlets, an on off switch, two cooling fans, and the uh, input from the battery connected here. And this this unit right here will um, if you do the Ohm's law conversion for power equals current times voltage and you divide the voltage into the power it will supply 12 and a half amps worth of juice to your accessories what we had is a I want to want to demonstrate first of all how it works okay first we turn it on and it has a, a green light meaning everything's okay it has a red light if there's something that's malfunctioning and this shows uh, an LCD ladder as to how much power is being drawn from the 12 and a half amps how much is being used and how much is available so if we plug this in right here and we've got power we have a 50 50 watt light bulb We'll plug that in and turn that on and it is easily capable of, of doing that. But what I thought would be interesting was to put it to a more practical application and see if it would power uh, this projector. So I've got uh, a projector loaded in with a Disney film. The 50 watt light is going on. We'll plug this in. And let's turn off the auxiliary lights for some of the background here. And we'll turn on the projector and see what happens. Right. Do forests and trackless wastes over mountains there. and seas down to the present day. Now we've got the Goofy. The Olympiads, the man with this heroic cannot become extinguished. So, this would be a, a really cool thing to take on a camping trip or something where you needed power and you wanted to show movies. And the 50 watt light bulb is still going. I mean, it's got buku power in reserve. So this is the Schumacher 1500 power inverter, DC to AC. There is one thing that I wanted to point out here. And I'm gonna turn off the projector here. And that is, it does have limitations. We have a point well out <clears throat> in the, uh, the, the property area that supplies water to irrigate the front of our signs for flowers and grass. And what happened was that the outlets, the GFI outlets, lost power. So I wanted to see whether this Schumacher 
would supply enough power to start the motor so that we could water the flowers. And according to the specifications on the motor, it has uh, a maximum of 9.4 amps. It has like continuous between 7.6 and 3.8, but it seems like it po po uh, <clears throat> peaks out about 9.4 amps, which is well within the 12 and a half amps and should be able to run the motor. And additionally, this power inverter, the Schumacher 1500 power inverter, says that it will have a peak capacity of 3,000 watts on the startup. So let's see here. I think I saw it right on the box. Uh, here it is. 3,000 peak watts. Now, if you know about induction motors, they require an abnormally amount of high startup current. But I figured that the 3,000 peak watts would be enough to get this thing kicking so that 1,500 of continuous watts would keep it going since it only needs 9.4 amps. Well, it didn't. So this has limitations of not being able to turn over. Now, this is a half horsepower motor. So it will do some things like run projectors and drills and lights and things like that. But when it comes to a half horsepower motor, forget it. That's where it stops. Just thought I'd add that. Thanks for watching.